one million I would have bet against going from this to this with one email. But let me go back. Eight years ago, I first moved to Hawaii. I met someone on Stairways to Heaven that did not only have the similar name as me, but was very exciting and down to go on adventures together. With a matter of a few weeks, we decided to build a tiny house. I was so thrilled until this day, this is one of the biggest accomplishments that I've made. One morning, I woke up to a message from HGTV sharing that they had found my YouTube and wanted to create a show together. Everything happened super fast, and the next thing I knew, we were on a TV show, building a tiny house off the grid, an amazing team of incredible people. This was so special. This house turned out so special that even the biggest magazine Hawaii did a cover on us. The house is everything I've ever dreamed of, and many years this was my sanctuary. We renovated projects and refurbished an old cow's tub to a bathtub that later was the first thing that people would ask me about. We had a golden retriever named Leela. She was my world. I did everything with her. When she was two years old, she got diagnosed with aggressive form of cancer. I will never forget the moment when she died in my arms. A week later, a friend had a litter, and although I wasn't ready for another dog, we got Kanu, who I took care of for every single day. Over the years, I built a successful business and was even able to start my own helicopter's license. I loved my routine of working for myself and taking care of the ones around me. I've always been thriving of nurturing people. I had everything I could ever ask for. When I was five months pregnant, the father of my child went on a big trip to attend his best buddy's wedding in Brazil. I didn't go to the wedding because although the bride used to be my best friend, we parted ways a year earlier. In hindsight, I don't know why. The trip seemed a bit strange as the groom was stuck and not able to enter Costa Rica where the first part of the trip was planned. I felt really bad that he wasn't able to go on the first part of the trip. At the time, I was confused as why someone would continue the trip and leave one person behind that the trip was meant for. I was assured that everyone was okay with that and I didn't think much further. A week later, everyone was reunited in Brazil. The next day, I got a message that the wedding had been cancelled. I was really shocked and generally felt bad that that had happened. I then talked to the father of my child on his birthday and everything seemed fine. I was happy for him to have a big trip with his close friends but also was excited for him to come home as I had scheduled an appointment to find out the gender to surprise him. And then one morning I get a text saying, check your email. I thought it was something that he needed help with his business, but turns out he ended the relationship saying that he wanted to be on his own and focus on being by himself. Due to the fact that my visa didn't fully process at the time and needing him to complete it, I had no option but to leave the country knowing I wasn't able to return for at least three years. I, I packed some of my stuff in 48 hours with the help of some friends. I will never forget looking a last time at my house and my dog and leaving to Germany. The next few months would be an emotional roller coaster. I would ask friends to make sure that he was fine and supported. One day a friend couldn't take it anymore and told me that he started dating instantly his friend's fiance. It was tough finding out him dating a week later that I had left then quickly being engaged while I was nine months pregnant. Grieving the loss of someone I thought I would spend the rest of my life with was difficult but I knew I had to be strong for my baby. The next few months would be emotionally exhausting. You spend every day with someone for years and the next thing you know, you ignore like you don't have a child together. Going to therapy and every doctor appointment by myself was a challenge. I felt embarrassed for being dumb pregnant so I deleted my Instagram since needed space and didn't want anyone to know who knew me personally. To distract myself, I started making TikToks about the loss I went through trying to find out find a little support online since I had barely any friends in Germany. This resulted in quickly being threatened to be sued for slander and defamation. I want to stress that I make these videos to cope with the circumstances not to send anyone hate. I'm lucky to have a community in Hawaii supporting me and that I'm still able to FaceTime friends. I'm beyond grateful for my family who supported financially and emotionally. My mom who went to labor with me and my dad who to show up for her as well as my two brothers. I'm overwhelmed with the support I've gotten from you and I'm trying to figure out how I can find my light back and can't wait to share the good and bad with you. I'm proud on how far I've gotten and I take full responsibility to make something great out of this.